Well, hey there, SEMC family. It is Friday and it is August 27th. August 27th? Hey, I'm standing outside uh, under the overhang. You might hear a little echo in my voice because of that. And uh, the doors for the, uh, for the building are there behind me. And I thought I might take you for a little tour because we have big news. We have been uh, granted partial occupancy. And now what that means is all the physical work in most of the building has been completed as for this renovation, uh, with the exception of we are still waiting for approval for the actual lift. And so we cannot use the lift at this point, but that should happen, Lord willing, within a couple of weeks, uh, within a few weeks anyway. It would be great to be able to share this with you. And I thought I would just kind of take you on a little bit of a tour, but instead, here's what we're gonna do. This Sunday morning, after our in-person service in the parking lot at 10.30, we usually end right around 11.30. We are going to open up the doors and allow you to walk through. Again, the lift isn't working, but so if you're able to, you can walk into the uh, foyer here and see the renovation that's gone on on the main floor. And if you are comfortable using stairs, then you can walk through into the basement and uh, the, uh, the gym level floor, and as well as the, the top level uh, floor, uh, and uh, see all that has been happening over the course of, well, these last eight or nine months. It's actually quite an amazing transformation. And uh, for many of us, we haven't been inside the building uh, in about 18 months or so. And so we're really excited on behalf of the governing board to be able to uh, uh, open this up as an invitation for you to walk through. And we encourage you to pray through our building because our desire is to continue to see it used uh, to demonstrate the goodness of God in, uh, in our community. And, uh, and so we we're really excited about that piece of news. And then uh, next weekend, we have another exciting uh, thing that's happening on uh, September 5th, Labor Day weekend. I, I'm going to kind of hold that in as a, as a bit of a surprise until next week. Uh, and then the following week on September 12th, we're going to be moving our services indoors. And we'll have information for you as to what that means. We're so thankful for the support and encouragement and enthusiasm of so many of you as you've come and spent time with us outdoors on Sunday mornings uh, oh, since, uh, since the middle of July in particular. And uh, we look forward to how God's going to continue to uh, use us and allow us to celebrate in the name of Jesus as we move indoors come the se September 12th. We have a bunch more things that are happening, including we have some opportunities for you to help get our building ready uh, and over the next few weeks. And so if you want to look down below, there's uh, service opportunities for you to be able to help prepare for us. And you'll hear some more of that coming as we uh, continue to take shape. Oh, one more thing that's going to happen this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday as well, at the conclusion of the service, while some of you might be choosing to walk around, we would like to have your input in the shaping of our ministry going forward. And so... Uh, Teresa Searsma will be there, our children's ministry director, and Patrick Turvey, who is looking after our senior high ministry, and myself looking after the junior high ministry. Uh, we would love to be able to connect with you to get your input on um, what you, how, how you feel, the, any concerns you have or input or suggestions you have in terms of how uh, ministry ought to be shaped moving forward. Um, and uh, we look forward to unfolding some of that later uh, later in the fall as well. So your input is valuable and we want to provide that opportunity for intentional connection uh, this Sunday. And so we'll see you, uh, that's, that's a lot right now, right? So we'll see you uh, Sunday uh, 9.15 on Facebook for a live check-in, 9.30, the conclusion of Bible Detective and... Um, and then uh, at uh, 1030, either in person here in the parking lot, um, bring a lawn chair or online on Facebook and we'll post it later in the day to YouTube our, our church service as we conclude the series, Check the Mercy of God When Kingdoms Fail. And uh, talking about Jesus, Jesus as our prophet, priest and king. And, uh, and so thank you so much for uh, learning along with us. Uh, that's it for now. 
Have a great weekend and look forward to connecting with you in some way, shape, or form. Until then, keep well, wash your hands, and let's go make a kingdom difference. See ya.